As you begin your work week, many of you might be thinking about plans and goals that you have in the days to come. For many of you, it could be eating healthier, getting good things at the grocery store. You are not alone. So we have headed up the road this morning to Cleveland, visiting with Dr. Tim DeRoos at Infinite Health Centers. Good morning to good you. Good morning to you. Uh, I'm one of those. I always make my grocery list on a Friday, do my shopping on a Saturday, and I have what I intend to be my grocery list, and then I always come home with a few extra things. For your patients here at Infinite Health Systems, uh, when they come to you, they're learning very quickly what to buy and what to avoid that at that right. grocery store. That's right. Uh, it's a good time for us to be talking in this mid-February slump because it can be real easy to let the winter days kind of get you down, um, and depression can kick in, unhealthy eating habits can really jump ahead, and you don't want that for people. What are you doing at Infinite Health Centers? Well, you know, we lovingly nickname this time of year National Failure Day right after, th right after Valentine's Day. But what we do is we set people up for success because that will reflect back on our practice model. Um, we depend on that. So when we give people food guidelines, it's specifically designed to help propel their metabolism in an upward direction. Because most people are stuck in fat storage, not fat burning. So we set them up with different elements that get them out of that back into fat burning. That's really the premise of what we do. So that fat burning, does that happen based on what you're eating as opposed to what you're doing? Absolutely. Um, I, I tell everyone that comes into the clinic, I say, um, you know, I'm highly motivated to help you succeed. So what you see in here is what is necessary. If it was about exercise exclusively, you'd be tripping over treadmills and ellipticals. Mm -hmm. But it's not. There's not one in the building because that's not how you transition to metabolism. That's how you can burn some calories. But it's not how you transition a metabolism out of fat storage back into fat burning. So when you talk about the foods that you eat, a patient comes in here, uh, they have a consultation with you, yes. and you kind of study them as well. Yes. There are some basic things they're going to avoid eating, but you tailor it for each person specifically, right? We do. We have everything from the raging diabetic in his 80s to someone who has grown up on processed and prepackaged food in their 20s and everything in between. So we have to look at that whole person. Um, I never wanted to be a doc in the box. I always wanted to have that one-on-one -on -one connection because I knew that would equate to as close to 100% success as possible. I could fill this room we're in right now with 30 people and make more money, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna make more success cases. Hmm. So you are a big believer in letting your patients speak for you when they're comfortable. Uh, you have brought them on to 3 Plus U on the set uh, several times. Here you are in Cleveland, you're drawing patients from all over. People will drive to come to you. Up to two hours. So this morning we're gonna meet a woman named Misty. She drives in about 30 or 35 minutes from Polk County to visit you. Take a listen to her success story. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then words are worth even more. And it's very uh, nice for us to have a chance to talk with Misty Sane, one of Dr. Jerusalem's patients, and you are sure looking good. Thank you. You feel good. Yes, I do. I'm going to let you kind of tell your story because when you shared it with me, I was a little bit unbelieving because mm -hmm. you look so great. Nine months ago, mm -hmm. how much did you weigh? 223 pounds. And you lost your weight in eight months. Mm -hmm. Yes. Had you tried things before you came yes, to Infinite? I had. Was, was weight a struggle for you your whole life, or did it hit you at a certain point? It hit me after I had children. Oh, yes. Yes. You love them, but you yes, have to get angry them. at yes. them at the same time. <laughs> yes. So when you came here, um, had you, like so many people, probably kind of gotten up the nerve to call and make this step? Had you thought about it for a while before I you finally I'd came? called once, and then I didn't come. And then this last time I came. So were you a little bit skeptical when you left? He talks with us about how he spends so much time with those initial consultations with people mm -hmm. and kind of gives you your own personal approach. Was it too much to believe or did you walk out of here confident? I was skeptical. And so when did you begin to know you were in the right hands? Probably a, a month in. A month in? Yes. How much weight did you lose in that first month? Do you remember? 15 or 16 pounds. How much? How about with your family and friends, your kids? What have they had to say? They are like, "Wow, mom!" They'll send me pictures of me a year ago, and they're like, "Look, mom, look how far you've come. I'm so proud of you." We've kind of pulled back because I don't want to play Barbara Walters mm -hmm. with you and make you cry. <laughs> but you said that you were pretty miserable when oh, you yes. came in here. Mm -hmm. I was. Do you feel like you're a different person? Yes. 
Totally. What was it that was making you miserable? My weight. But was it simply because you didn't like the way you looked or was it impacting how you lived? What was it? I did not like how I looked and how I felt. I felt miserable after I've lost the weight. I have so much more energy and I can do, I can get down on the floor with my grandbabies. I have a six month old and a 15 month old grandbaby. So. You do not look like a grandmother. <laughs> Thank you. There are probably people watching you who are thinking, I wonder if she put up a happy face to the world and then when she got home by herself, that's when the, the sadness hit. A lot of people watching are probably struggling mm -hmm. with their weight. You tend to do that, don't you? Where yes. you pretend like you're happy with it, but inside you're really not? Yes. What would you tell people if they were thinking about taking this step? I would do it. It's so worth it. You feel so much better about yourself. Was there a time in your eight month, now nine month journey where it quit being so much about the weight and more about energy that you felt? I mean, was it more than just weight loss for you? Yeah, at first it wasn't, but then after the weight started coming off, I'm like, wow, I have more energy too. I didn't realize that. I was just worried more about the weight, but then it started like the energy was awesome. Tell, tell me this though, because for Dr. DeRoos, mm -hmm. I would think that you have a pretty strong bond with oh, yes. him yes. now. Mm -hmm. um, that when I've met him, I felt like an instant connection mm -hmm. to him. Do you, did you feel that from the yes, very Yes, they're beginning? so inspirational to you. They, they encourage you. I mean, even if you get through a little rut, you know, you don't lose as much weight. It's okay. You lost some, you know. You're, you're doing awesome. Just keep it up. He's talked a little bit about how those first two or three weeks can be a trial because mm -hmm. you really are having to teach your body a new way. Yes. Did you come to a point in those two or three weeks where you thought, I can't do this? No. Because you wanted it. No. Uh, yes, I wanted it. When I started seeing the progress of me losing weight, there was no turning back. I was doing it. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of pe lot of women that have asked me, you know, at work because they couldn't, I don't guess people really could tell until I lost maybe 30 pounds. They're like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I said, you know, I found a doctor that's helping me, you know, that, oh, you use, use pills and all that? No, you don't use pills. It's a way of eating. You know, you change your eating habits and everything. They're like, wow. And I'll give them his phone number and tell them to come see him, you know. And they're like, oh, that's awesome. And then I just keep losing weight. They're like, oh my gosh, you look so awesome. I'm like, thank you. You're a walking testimonial. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've, we've cried together. There's, there's some girls that were like me, you know, that they weigh as much as I weighed and they're like, I want to get to like where you are. And I said, you can do it. You know, if you go to the doctor and stuff and then you have a support system. If you don't have a support system, you know, it's hard at home. And I do. My husband's there with me 100%. He, did, he was on blood pressure medicine and stuff and he stopped having to take it from eating, the eating habits that we have. You know, you keep on. And my husband motivated me, you know, he's like, when I wanted to, you know, there was probably a few, maybe in the second month that I was like, oh gosh, this is too hard. I just don't know. And he's like, nope, we're doing it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. I guess you've gotten pretty used to seeing tears and emotion with what you do. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. what does that mean for you to hear her? You were able to listen to her this morning. What does it mean for you to hear that? You know, it... It really fuels us to continue on. Um, I want to do this as long as I can. Because when you transform someone's life, you're, you have a ripple effect. One, one interaction, one encounter, one case, even if it was over eight months, can impact so many lives beyond that. Because, you know, she has grandchildren, like she said. Right. So, you know, it's, she's going to impact them because they're going to want to go to Mimi's house to eat what Mimi cooks and right. that's going to spill on into the success of generations. And her co-workers yeah. asking her what she's been doing and then they cry right. together when right. they find success. Her husband coming off of his blood pressure medicine simply by supporting uh, his wife. I mean it is it is total health it that is. you're providing. And, and, and it all matters. I push everyone in the in the individual rooms when they come to see us every month. I push them to to live out their best self because that is what will drive their success. That's what will make them sustainable long term, even after we part our ways temporarily, right? Because we still support everyone. We leave the door open always. Right. But they have to learn sustainability on their own because I can't hold everyone's hand their whole life. 
And that's what thrills me about somebody like Misty is she's learned the skills. No one can ever take it from her. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to ride the roller coaster from now on. She has the, she, she's been equipped. So now she can carry on the rest of her life and impact her family, immediate family, grandchildren and so on, and her community, her coworkers. She said that she had tried lots of things over the years and that she had thought before about calling you and then just, I think she even called you once, but didn't go through with it. And then obviously this time she did and it was successful. For anybody watching, um, you do want them to be mentally ready to take the step, right? Otherwise they won't find the success they're looking for. True, I, I prefer people have gone through other programs because while they're always gonna have their poster children, this is the real deal. And I know I sound partisan when I say that, but when you include whole food nutrition, when you include nutritional concentrates, detoxification, you're going to win as long as you do it. I tell everyone that sits in that room that sits opposite me, I say, if you just follow it, like so many thousands now have gone before you, you'll be successful too. There are three of your patients, and I won't call them out by name, but I've had an opportunity to find out that they were your patients. So I, I know them. Uh, and I was shocked at how different they looked after coming to you. They were beautiful before, but they're vibrant now. Mm -hmm. So it works. It does work. Here's how you can get in touch with Dr. Timothy DeRuce at Infinite Health Centers. He is in Cleveland, but like we said, you are welcome to drive here. It'll be well worth your while. Phone number and website there on your screen. Thank you. Thank you. This winter, count on the Channel 3 